Hey guys, Ben Crosswhite here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to do the perfect push-up for both injury prevention, how not to get injured doing a push-up, and more muscle growth, and how to do it effectively to hit your goals. So the first thing that we are looking at today is with the perfect push-up is the positioning of your body, and in particular, the hands. The closer you take your hands, the more pressure you're gonna feel on the triceps in the back of the arm, and also you're gonna feel a lot more pressure on the elbow. So if you have an elbow issue uh, or injury, if you have a shoulder injury, it could put more displacement on those elbows and the shoulders, causing more pain, so be careful there. The traditional push-up is about shoulder width apart. So your fingers are pointing straight ahead, um, you're not rotating out too much. Uh, you are keeping your, your hands right below your shoulders. And then the last one is a little bit wider, which this one is gonna hit a little bit more chest and a little bit more shoulders, less triceps. The big thing on all of these and the position of the elbow is gonna be different in each one, but overall the elbow should be drawn back towards the rib cage. So in the regular push-up, which I'll show you first. So in the normal push-up position, you wanna keep your back straight. You wanna make sure you get away from an anterior pelvic tilt and that is sinking that lower back in real tight here and you're drawing your butt up, you wanna make sure you rotate your pelvis, flex your abdominal wall, squeeze your glutes, and then squeeze your chest. And from this position, you can go down to the floor in a good form push-up. Now, the big thing people do wrong is they'll flare their elbows out. So that's gonna make it harder on the shoulders, it's gonna cause more pressure uh, where the head of the humerus meets with that acromion process and it could impinge a lot more. So you could develop scar tissue, uh, it could inflame more, it could cause impingements on the, uh, the labrum. Uh, all of those things could be possible if you do the elbows too wide and you do too many push-ups the wrong way. So again, the big thing here in this position is to make sure you keep your elbows about 45 degrees, your shoulders are down, if you start to fatigue, a lot of people will draw the shoulders up. So make sure you keep your scapulas tight, your shoulder blades are drawn down and retracted, and then as you come down, your elbows stay at 45 degrees. Now again, you're not sinking the lower back. A lot of people will sink the lower back. So when you turn the hips anteriorly, it'll cause some flexion in the spine, which again, will take away from your form. Uh, you wanna make sure you keep your glutes really tight. A lot of people forget about this. Keep your glutes tight, that's gonna help your core become more engaged. So the last thing I wanna go through is range of motion. So you wanna make sure you get full range of motion to have the proper push-up, which is all the way down and all the way up. A lot of people only do a halfway down movement or they don't fully lock the elbows. So make sure it's a good range of motion Always make sure you're breathing out coming up and going in coming down while keeping good intra-abdominal pressure the entire time. So abdominal bracing is a must, glute engagement is a must, and make sure you keep your elbows into 45 degrees. Those are the three biggest things. Um, shrugging the shoulders, making sure the scapula to the shoulder blades are retracted properly because they are gonna rotate with the shoulder girdle as you come down uh, are all very important points here. So with that range of motion, you wanna make sure your hips don't hit too soon and your chest doesn't hit too soon. So a lot of people will drop their hips down a little early so they're not getting that full range or even they'll drop their head down. So you wanna make sure you keep your body as parallel to the ground as possible, neutral spine, especially in your neck, don't drop your head down and don't sink your hips. You're gonna kill your lower back and you won't work your chest and shoulders properly in doing that. Okay guys, so there you have it, the best way to do a perfect push-up. And push-ups are great to do weekly, so make sure you throw them in your routine. They're a very basic exercise, but they work wonders in a lot of different muscle groups. So it's a lot of core positioning, so you're working that plank position, which is gonna activate the transverse abdominis. It's gonna activate the lower back muscles, a lot of those paraspinals and then your glutes, and obviously your shoulders, chest, and triceps. So make sure you really focus on good form, proper form to help relieve injury and to help get your goals even faster.